The Taklimagan Desert in northwest China's Xinjiang is China's largest desert. It is traversed by Tarim Desert Highway, the world's longest desert highway, at 522 kilometers. A shoulder belt formed by some 20 million trees was planted on both sides of the highway in 2005 to protect it from the intrusion of sand. The construction of 86 solar power stations along the highway was completed on Thursday. As replacement for diesel power generation, the clean energy power stations will help pump underground water to irrigate the 436 kilometer grain wall. Ah, this project is completed. After that, we can reduce the water usage by 1,000 tons. Reduce 1,000 tons of water usage. Yes, we can reduce the amount of water usage by 1,410 tons. 1,410 tons of water usage by 1,410 tons. Yes. Then, this is the construction of the protective barrier wall. It is the length of 3,128 meters. Yes. If we calculate the amount of water usage per year, we can reduce the amount of water usage by 1,400 tons. Yes. We can reduce the amount of water usage by 1,400 tons. Yes. We can reduce the amount of water usage by 1,400 tons. Yes. We can reduce the amount of water usage by 1,400 tons. Yes. We can reduce the amount of water usage by 1,400 tons. In Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region, the world's largest solar-powered hydrogen plant, owned by Baofeng Energy, has been put into operation. The project can generate green electricity to power the production of hydrogen and oxygen, which will be directly supplied to the chemical manufacturing facility, reducing reliance on coal in chemical production. Meanwhile, a project converting coal into oil, launched by Ningxia Coal Industry Group under the state-owned China Energy, has reached its full capacity. With a designed annual output capacity of four million tons, the project saves 400,000 tons of raw coal and reduces nearly 900,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions every year. Ecological protection has been high on the policy agenda of China over the past decade, as solid actions have been taken to advance ecological development and push the country toward a green future. China's artificial afforestation has accounted for about a quarter of the world's total, and its carbon dioxide emissions per unit of the gross domestic product have dropped about 34%. The country has also topped the globe in installed capacity of wind and photovoltaic power and other green energy, and in the production and sales of new energy vehicles. China has announced targets of peaking carbon dioxide emissions before 2030 and achieving carbon neutrality before 2060. Australian scholar Richie Merzian said China is really well placed to switch and to turn over its energy to the clean side, and China has made great strides in environmental protection in recent years. Environmental protection, not just in terms of air pollution, which China has made great strides on, but also in terms of climate change more broadly. So that's dealing with greenhouse gas emissions from fossil fuels mainly, and in that sense, China has committed to. Uh, getting to zero emissions by 2060, which is a great goal.